from mechanical engineering which is dominating but then there are also electrical engineering computer science so for example from electrical engineering there are courses like electrical drive mechanical engineering there would be um, multi-body dynamics or um, numerical methods, numerical methods okay. yes yeah, um, there the are also things. a lot of um, robotic um, specific subjects like um, computer vision or sensors because the robots It's, yeah, sensors. you know, sensors in order to move to yeah, wherever. In order yeah. to navigate the city world. <laughs> yeah, and then there are also robotic kinetics. Okay, um, oh, that's nice. Yeah. I, uh, I also read somewhere there's machine design or uh, machine learning. Yeah, machine learning as well. Oh, that's one and of the. And programming is also part of it. Okay. Uh, do you yeah. have to have any prerequisite because it's such a vast course? Yeah. What all do you need to already have done in your bachelor's to be able to get up? Yeah. Because it is um, still offered by the mechanical engineering faculty, so um, all the yeah, so faculty four, so students who have a background in mechanical engineering um, will fit in. Okay. But we expect them to have a huge interest also in electrical engineering and computer science. Otherwise, this course would be a little bit tough. But and yeah. uh, how can they ideally show that interest? Um, so first you have to like robots. <laughs> yes. I mean everyone will say that. What can yes. someone do to show that? Yes, so you can uh, show that by um, participating in different kinds of extracurricular activities and broadening your horizon. Also, during your bachelor's, you might be a mechanical engineering major, but you can take also subjects from other fields. Then you can also take subjects from other fields to show that you have already got some uh, background knowledge on that. Or simply write in your motivation letter and show us um, your passion for robotic systems engineering. Okay, uh, is there any minimum admission, uh, uh, minimum work experience requirement? Yes, work experience would be the same as all the other um, programs that we have. Okay. So at least one year of work experience until the enrollment, or six months of work experience until the application. So once again, I would like to repeat because I just learned this today. Internships also count as work experience. Yes. So so that's useful and especially I think then if you have done a internship in the area of electrical designs or robotics or if you have some coding experience that should be ideal for the course right yeah and the robotic systems engineering is a brand new um, program that we are offering the first intake was from this year 2018-19 okay. but um, we have already got some companies so international academy has many company partners and some company uh, has already contacted our career coach and say we will keep an eye on your graduates yeah we will keep an eye on your um, graduates from robotic systems engineering because that, uh, they are looking that for is, uh, exactly that is very very useful especially because uh, 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 work with uh, mr lingens for a small speech that i gave back yeah. in akana i think he's one of the most capable person to bring in new companies yeah. into the fora and then make internship work thesis jobs everything much yeah. easier for students he's on the one hand helping students to find jobs and helping them to improve their cv and cover letters and so on and on the other hand he's contacting many different companies to to enrich the data database um uh, for our students yeah. that, that's useful uh, is there any minimum level of german that you require for this program for robotic system engineering no because okay. um it's all taught in uh, in english oh that's perfect yes. all right yeah. That was nice to know. Uh, can you tell me how many students apply typically, or what are the chances of someone well, for applying and getting robotic knowledge? systems engineering? You know, robotics is a really hit and popular topic now. Is even though it's new, it's one of the most popular courses that we have. So we have um, more than three hundred fifty, yeah, uh, applica applications last year, and right. yeah, we have. 
50 to 60 students. Oh, okay, so, right, so that's one in six, one in seven chance of yes. getting into the course. Yeah. That's my student. Uh, one point, uh, since it's uh, a program that is offered by the mechanical engineering faculty, you will need GRE if you would like to apply for this uh, program. Uh, once again, so 300, uh, sorry, uh, one, 145 for verbal one, reasoning, 160 for quantitative and reasoning. And 3.5. Three, three, three for the essay. Yes. Not that I need to exactly. <laughs> Thank you once again yeah. for that You're information, welcome. and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Bye bye.